Let's take a look at the lesson, Convert Fractions and Mixed Numbers to Decimals. It says, write three-tenths as a decimal number. So let's look at decimals. If we have a decimal point, all digits on the left of the decimal point will be our whole numbers, and the digits on the right side will be our numbers that are less than one. So here we would have our tens place. Here we would have our ones. But here we would have our tenths, because it is less than one. And here we would have our hundredths. All right. So if I write a number like 28 and 7 tenths. I say the digit and then I say its place. So 7 tenths. Or if I'm going into hundredths, maybe I have 73. So I would say 28 and 73 hundredths because it ends here in the hundredths place. So let's look at this digit. Write 3 tenths as a decimal number. Well, we don't have a whole number in this, so we would do our decimal point. There would be nothing over on this side because there are no whole numbers there. We would have our point, our decimal point, and then we would have three tenths. Well, I know my tenths place is this first one here, so I'd put a three there. So that is three tenths. All right, so that is our answer, point three. Now here they say write one one hundredth as a decimal. Well, I know here I have my decimal point. This would be my tenths. This would be my hundredths. I know I have one one hundredth, so I'll put it there. And this would just be a zero because this is just one hundredth. All right, point zero, one. Here it has eight tenths. Well, here's my decimal point. Here's my tenths and my hundredths. Well, I have eight tenths, and this is not hundredths, so I don't need to put anything in my hundredths place, so it will just be point eight, because we just have tenths. Here we have eight hundredths, so we have our point, and our tenths, and our hundredths. Well, I know there's eight hundredths, and if we only want eight hundredths, we would put a zero here, so point zero eight. Do you see that anywhere? Yes, right here. And of course, we can put zeros on this side of our decimal point, and our number will still remain the same because we have a zero ones. Write eight tenths as a decimal number. Well, here's my decimal, here's my tenths and my hundredths. I would put an eight in the tenths, and I don't need anything in the hundredths because they're just asking about tenths. So it would be this one. And remember, you can put a zero if you'd like. So here's five one hundredths. So here's my decimal point, tenths, hundredths. Well, I have nothing in the tenths, but I have a five in the hundredths. So it could be zero point zero five. Oh, now we have more to solve. So we need to solve this first and then put it over 10 and then we'll write it as a decimal number. So I know seven times 10 is 70. And then we add seven more. So that would be 77 and then we have over 10. So that is 77 tenths. Ah, okay, so if we have 77 tenths, let's see, here's our decimal point, and then we have tenths. Well, as soon as we have 10 tenths, that's one whole. So 70 tenths is seven whole, and then we would just have seven tenths left over, because this could also be broken into 70 plus seven, so 70 tenths plus seven tenths. So we know 70 tenths is 7, and 7 tenths would be 0.7. So our answer is 7.7.
Now here we have 3 times 10 plus 6. Well, I know my 3 times 10 would be 30, so that would be 30 tenths. And then we would have our plus 6 tenths. Well, I know 10 tenths is one whole. So 20 tenths would be two whole, 30 tenths would be three whole. So 30 tenths, and then we have six tenths left over, so we just put a six there, 3.6. Now here we have nine times 100 plus nine. All right, so nine times 100 I know is 900, and this is over 100, so 900 hundredths and then plus nine one hundredths, so plus nine one hundredths. So let's write this out. So I know that one hundred hundredths would be one whole. So nine hundred hundredths would be nine whole. And then we have nine hundredths left. Well, in this there's no tenths, so we put a zero there, but there are nine hundredths. So it'd be 9.09. .09. Here they show 6 times 10 plus 4 over 10. Well, I know 6 times 10 is 60. We can leave that over 10, and then plus 4 over 10. So I know 60 tenths would be 6 whole, and then we'd have 4 tenths left over, so 6.4. Here it is. Great work, everyone.